All right, my music makers, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, I just want to do a little up, another update kind of thing. What's going on here? I, I you know, in my last video, I asked you guys to uh, give me an example of your um, effects chain uh, on a floor or your stomp boxes and the, the chain that it follows in. So, um, you know, I honestly, through uh, even through my professional career touring across the country and uh, playing with some of the, you know, the rock and roll and even the country bands, I never did use a lot of effects. Matter of fact, when I was doing country uh, in a honky tonk band, we were touring all over the place. Um, yeah, I didn't. I was playing a telly, a GNL telly, American GNL telly, Telecaster, and um, I wish I still had to this day. But uh, the only thing I ever used was, I think I had maybe a um, tube screamer like uh, little thing to bump it up if I had to do leads, but. A lot of times I didn't even use that. I would just turn up my volume. I'd bring my volume down. And then when I wanted to do leads or if I was doing anything or, you know, I turned my volume up. And that was my... But what I almost used religiously in country music with the telly was a... Um, I had a boss. Um, I still have it. Uh, a boss a sustainer. Um, a compression compression sustainer you know the blue one and um so yeah uh i use that for country now rock um <laughs> i rock believe it or not i just you know i used uh i i had a half stack marshall i used uh so yeah i would just walk back to the amp and turn it up or whatever if i had leads to do uh it was you know it was a pretty pretty dirty sound that I was doing during the rock years, you know, in the eighties. Uh, so, but anyways, now it seems I come gravitating to more effects. You know, I got that Jimmy pedal I'm going to be using with the boys that's coming along. The band's coming along kind of slow, real slow. Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, he's in a band and, um, a, a big top 40 band and they, they do all the big hit, classic rock songs and they have two girls they do a lot of female songs you know heart and um uh who else uh yeah so anyways um yeah they do they do like you know stuff that i'm not really into at all but boy they sure do a good job at it they really do they're really they're really good at what they do and the girl he's got two girls one's on keyboards i think maybe two of them are on keyboards and they both sing. So anyways, um, Hey, so he's, he's, he's fading out of that band, but you know, life, you know, we all have our, uh, personal life. We have to take care of and do and, uh, and, and balance that between our, our band work and he doesn't do it for a living. So they don't play that often, but when they do play, they get pretty good paid gigs. They get, you know, you know, they pay them anywhere from like, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. They get some pretty private, a lot of casual, we call it casual, like private parties, corporate parties. In my day, I don't know if they call it that now, but in my day, they called it casuals. Casuals always paid the best. But anyway, so I, uh, you guys gave me some good heads up and some great advice on, um, on the last post I did. Um, so I think I'm going to take, I decided to take the route. Um, you know, I was going to put my, I think I tried my effects. I was doing my effects through the TC and then out right to, uh, my amp on the guitar side on the TC Helicon play acoustic. So I would shut off my res, uh, shut off my res and any effects. Uh, I think I had some reverb. And I had some chorus, just slight, just to kind of, you know, make the acoustic sound big. I would shut all those off. It's really easy to do. You just hit the guitar tab and go in there. I'll show you what you have running on your guitar. 
I think I'm doing that right. So I just shut it all down. Really easy. Boom, boom, off, off, off. And then bring the res all the way to zero. So that's what I did. And then I ran the, and then I would run uh, my effects in the Jimi Hendrix effects. And then I would go into the TC. Uh, it, it seemed to, because I'm using a kind of a dirty sound, it's not a real clear clarity acoustic sound. I don't know if it screwed up the uh, harmonies. I didn't use three part harmonies. I just used two part with the boys. I'm not gonna use the three part. It's just, you know, uh, we're not doing those kind of songs. So, uh, but there's a few songs that have the two part harmonies. Um, so yeah. Uh, and a couple times I noticed in the PA that my, the harmony kind of went wacky a little bit, you know, cause it's sensitive. You just have to make sure what do you want, dude? There's nothing over here for you. Uh, are you going to run the camera for me? I got a cat here that's all nosy. Anyway, so um, what I decided to do was uh, I took one of your guys' advice. I don't know which one it was, but I took, I went and picked me up. I ordered it on Amazon, actually. It's ABY. And it's not uh, an AB or an AB switch. It's just a, it's an ABY. AB switch basically makes you can go input and you have two outputs. You can't use them at the same time. I don't even, so I guess like if you have a certain sound in one app and you want to click that switch and get that sound, then that's fine. And so, but I needed something and I didn't even know they made it. I mean, this is how ignorant I am to some of this stuff. And so they have an ABY, which means you can do one or the other, or you can do uh, both at the same time. So that's what I got, A, B, Y. So you go in there, you go out, two outs there. And there it is right there. It's like 23 bucks, and it, but it's well built, it's all metal. I don't even know who makes the damn thing. I, I don't have my readers on, but uh, I'll tell you who makes it. No, I can't, wait a minute. Uh, Uh, it's so small, I can't even see it. But anyway, it's the ABY, and I was able to get it the next day, so I ordered it. That's it right there. Maybe you can see the name at the bottom of the button right there. I can't, it's a K. Anyways, uh, I think it is. But anyways, yeah, and then it's got a, one thing about this one, though, you don't need a... Uh, uh, AC DC to run this you don't need a power supply to run this the power supply adapter is only is only to run the the, the light so this runs with or without a power supply don't need the light I really don't because I'm going to have it on full time so what's the point I don't need the light and uh, yeah so that's it so one will go into the TC I'm not going to have an out going of the out of the TC to my amp or anything else the, uh, as far as guitar I won't have a guitar out you know you usually have your 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 vocal and your guitar out right going to the board uh so yeah uh, i don't need a guitar out so i'll just be going into the tc and then this the other one will go strictly to my pedal and uh and then into the amp so i think that's It'll be interesting. I want to try that. I wish I could try it here, but I just don't have the damn room here. But yeah, so that's what I've that's what I've done to solve that problem. I uh, hope you guys are staying busy. I hope everything is good. Um, I got called in to do Friday night at the five seven two social. I haven't started it for the summer yet, but it's on its way. And uh, but they decided I was honored. Uh, they did call some people in for Saturday. I think two bands or two, one solo artist and one band, I think, to come in on Saturday. But they called me to uh, to do a Friday, and I was the only one there, no one before me or after me. So I just did two hours, four to seven, four, uh, four to six. Did four to six. So it ended up good. It was light. But, you know, I made some money and tips, and I don't remember what I did in tips. But, yeah, it was good. It wasn't bad, you know. So, yeah, I guess, but... You know what I've noticed on the shoulder? They call this the shoulder. When you're in a resort town, usually and you have a shoulder in fall and a shoulder in spring. 
So uh, what it does is if it's a small resort town, a lot of times what they'll do is restaurants in resort towns, you know, up high uh, in the mountains because they get a lot of wear and tear, a lot of dirt is tracked in, a lot of snow. So a lot of these restaurants will actually shut down completely for like two weeks. It's so weird. And it's like a ghost town. It's kind of cool for all the locals because we can just kind of do whatever you want. You know, there's a few restaurants where we'll stay open. Here, not so much. But what I noticed here, we've been here two years, a little over two years. And I've noticed the, the shoulder. Of course, it's coming out of COVID and I kind of get it. People are spending. They're not really keeping track. They think the economy's halfway decent, which it really wasn't. Because the minute suck nuts came into office, everything just went up. So, and it's been going up and it's still going up. It's just, it's, it's so sad. So sad for our country right now. And, uh, but anyway, so, uh, I noticed that, man, it's really dead right now here in Big Bear, California. It's pretty damn dead. I've never seen it on a shoulder. Because usually even on shoulder, because we're so close, to, we're you're so close to San Diego, Orange County, uh, L.A. We're so close to you know the the big cities. We're up in the mountains. Uh, you know, it's a quick hop, skip, and a jump to come up here. Uh, so there's always seems to be a little bit of traffic. It never gets like ghost town slow like it was in Mammoth when we lived in Mammoth. When we lived in Mammoth, uh, it was like, yeah, we got fall down two weeks. Restaurants were shut down. They'd steam clean, clean the restaurants, get them back together a little bit, and then stay open for summer. And then they do another cleaning for after summer. They do another cleaning for winter. That's how that works. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It is, it's going to be so interesting to see how it's going to be for uh, for the summer, I, it, it could smoke, it could crank. There's just could be, it could be maybe more people that have more money and money saved. It's not for the, you know, the people that are struggling like us to come up and get away for a little bit. But I, what I know, did notice, we got a lot of day trip, call them day, I call them day trippers. They come up for the day because we're not that far, you know, or an hour from the big liberal cities. So anyway, so yeah i don't know it's gonna be interesting guys uh hang tight i don't know what's happening now i got some responses from uh some friends of mine some uh, dear uh, uh subscribers that are out in uh florida and i got some in texas as well and i guess they say they're doing i guess it's doing pretty good right now uh Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Things, you know, like I said on the last post, things change on a dime. So, I don't know. It's extra slow on the shoulder here, though. And that's a sign of like, hmm, I wonder what summer's going to be like. I wonder if it's going to be real light. There's always going to be people coming up. Always. You know, in resort towns. There's always going to be people. But as far as, you know, how many that's a whole different ballgame. Anyway, I love you guys, man. Um, uh, if you guys kind of pass the word on with this channel, if you know anybody that wants to get out there and, and do a solo, you know, pass, if you can, pass the, pass the channel on to them, if you can, whatever. Um, and, you know, all that other rhetoric bullshit that, you know, everybody tells you. Hit the button, hit the button, subscribe. I really appreciate it whatever uh if you guys want to do it to help me out that's great i appreciate it i got a tip jar on there donations uh that helps me out more than you know and uh, if you can donate to that just to help out and help me keep this channel rocking and rolling so uh and then i've got some more updates for you next week so ciao for now you guys peace love take care of each other don't have a freaking ego if you got fellow musicians that are in a pickle or whatever help them out what the hell you know what the hell help each other out uh don't become separated like the country is right now let's let's band together you know we need to get out there and spread the love of music you know what i'm talking about so you guys all freaking rock that's a fact we'll talk to you next week ciao for now